Novel Catalog is a great way to search and find materials that are available at Jang's library. This video will teach you how to find print books, ebooks, and other materials at Jenks. To begin searching for books or other materials in the Noble Catalog, go to the library homepage at www.gordon.edu library. In the Search the Library section, you can either enter a quick search in the box provided under the Noble Catalog tab, or click on the More Catalog Search options to open the full catalog. You'll be directed to the basic search screen. You can type in any combination of keywords that you'd like in the search box that's provided. You can also filter your results by search type. So for example, keyword, search by title, or by author. You can also filter by the kind of format that you would like to search for. And finally, you can filter by location. But right now, we want information that's only accessible at Gordon College. So let's run a search. Say we wanted to find information about mental health and well-being within college students. We can start by using the keywords mental health and college students. When entering your keywords in the search box, use the AND Boolean search operator to connect your two terms together. This indicates to the catalog that you want books related to both of these concepts. Click search after you've entered your keywords. Review your list of results and select titles that are of interest to you. When you've found a title that's interesting, click on the green title link to access that book's record. Let's start with a print book. How do I know which books are print and which books are ebooks? The icon below the title and the author tells me how. We'll look at result number three. Basic information about the book, such as the title, the author, year, and publication, are contained at the top of the book's record. In the middle of the book's record contains location information for how you can actually find this at Jenks. To find books at Jenks, you need two pieces of information, the location and the call number. The location tells you what stack level or floor level the book is located on. At Jenks, we've got five levels of stacks total, and they're organized using the Library of Congress classification system. The second piece of information is the call number. The call number tells you the exact location on the shelf where the book is located within that stack level. When finding books at Jenks, you need all pieces of this call number, from the letters, which tells you what subject area you're in, to the year at the end. Once you've found a print book that you want to go and get from Jenks Library, remember to write down the location and the call number, head to that section of the stacks, and then you can scan the shelf using your call number to find that book. Once you've found your book, check it out at the circulation desk using your student ID card. So let's go back to our initial search result, the one where we started with the keywords mental health and college students. Now let's look at an example of an ebook. To access this ebook, again click on the green title link. The information that you need for accessing this ebook is contained below the electronic resources header. You'll see a link that will say something like access for Gordon College via EBSCOhost or sometimes you might see access for Gordon College via Overdrive. Those are the two platforms in which the ebook is hosted and you can click on this link to actually get the full contents of the ebook. Let's take a look at this example of the EBSCOhost version. Notice when we click into the EBSCOhost ebook, we get the same kind of information on its books record. We have the title, the author, publication, description, and more. Scrolling down on this book records page, we get to the table of contents. This connects you to all the different areas within this book that you can begin reading. So for example, if we wanted to start with chapter one, we can click right on that link and that section of the book will open for us. Thanks for watching and remember, if you need any help, you can always ask Jenk.